Welcome students. Now in this session we will see about drawing a line parallel to another given line at a given distance, at a given perpendicular distance. Okay. So we will do it using protractor. Earlier we have done drawing such lines using uh, set square. Now we will be doing it using protractor. How to draw it? Okay. This is another question using protectors. I have the line AB which is measuring I uh, will just show it to you. It is measuring 5.4 cm exactly. If you are not able to see it, I will just zoom it and show it to you. See it, it is uh, AB is at 1C it is at 0 here and 5.4 exactly okay that's it <coughs> uh, I let to draw a line parallel to this AB at a distance of 4.3 using protractor so first what I will do is I will draw a 90 degree line at A uh, to the line AB okay so I will bring the protractor here I will just rotate it to this Okay. I'll zoom out and do little better. Okay. I'll bring it down little here. Okay. Now if you see here, now I have aligned it at exactly at A, but little rotation is required. Okay, but it is not exactly on the line, it is above the lines. A, B. So I will just keep it like this. And now it is on the line. Okay, I will just have to rotate it, tilt it because yeah, now it is exactly on that. <coughs> this lever, angle lever is there. I have set it at 90 degree exactly because I will have to draw a line at 90 degree exactly. So it is 90.1. I just have to move it left. No, it is. I'm not able to set it. 89, 90, 92, 90. Oh, it is wavering between 89.9 and 90.1. Let me just uh, enlarge it and do it so that I can do a little better. Okay. I will set it at 89.9, 90.0. Now it is exactly right? And you can see we are drawing a pit pendulum here. here. I will just uh, minimize the size of it so that I can draw the line neatly. I will take the line, I will take the color red and th thickness of the line, the minimum. Now I can draw a line. See, it is above that lever. Once it is there, I am just drawing it and drawing, passing it through A. So I have drawn a line which is at 90 degree, passing through A. Okay. Now I have to the distance between the parallel lines is 4.3. So to I have to mark a distance of 4.3 on this red line from A. From A 4.3, I can take use of the compass here, I can rotate it, I can bring it over here, 4.3 cm is required, it is already set at 4.3 cm, you can I'll zoom sweet, it means of this one, you can see it, it is already at 4.3, okay, so I will keep it here, 4.3 cm is already set. I just have to bring it down here and fix it here. It's fixed exactly. I can you can see it. See here, it is exactly it. Now it is little down. It needs to come. Okay, it's there exactly. Now I'll have to rotate it. See the distance is this 4.3 already there. You yeah, have seen it. If you want to check it, you can check it further. The distance is 4.3. The distance is 4.3. Okay. 
So at this point I just have to move the cursor I'll uh, just rotate it about first. Yeah, up to this point. Now I'll have to draw an arc like this. This distance, this point is at, I'll mark this point as C. Okay, this point C, I'll keep it here. Just below it, here. Yeah. Okay. This is a point C. At C, I like to draw a parallel line. It is 4. Point, say C is equal to 4.3 centimeter. I like to draw a par parallel line to AB. So for this, I will take. Uh, <coughs> I am using compass here. I mean a protractor here. So I will take the protractor again. I will rotate it about and keep the zero edge vertically. I will align it at C exactly now. It is now exactly at C and I just need to make a little adjustment. Now it is exactly at C. The lever is at 90 degree already. I just have to draw another line along this 90 degree line. I can draw it from here also. I have drawn the line. Okay. C and I can make this other point as D. Clearly, the point D, CD is parallel to AB. Okay. This completes the activity. CD is parallel to AB. This way we do it.